I should say the next pretty lady to step up here is not only a star of television, Broadway, and the movies, but has appeared with our man of the hour on stage and screen. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the talented and lovely, beautiful Connie Stephen. <laughs> Exciting reunion for me, I'll tell you. I have not appeared with George Burns for a long time. He and I co-starred in a television series, I hope you all remember. It was called Wendy and Me. <laughs> you remember? Do you remember? She doesn't remember. I remember. Well, it didn't last very long. I'm not blaming you, George. It was a good show, but I've had longer runs in my pantyhose. <laughs> In the view of our past friendship, I was really surprised. When I arrived in Las Vegas last night, I found a beautiful bouquet of flowers in my hotel room. And a note from George Burns that said, Dear Connie, please join me for a swinging evening on the town. <laughs> well, George, I hate to uh, kiss and tell, but uh, may I tell them what a swinging evening we really had? First, we went out to dinner. I picked him up right after his nap. <laughs> it was then I discovered George's secret for staying young. He never overextends himself. He wouldn't even whistle for a cab. He figures when he finally gets up a pucker, why waste it on a taxi? <laughs> we were driving along, and all of a sudden, George leaned over and said, my leg's asleep. It's numb. I can't feel a thing. I said, George, please, relax. That's my knee you're holding. <laughs> On the way home in the cab, George got very confidential with me. He said, Connie, I know I'm an older man and you're still young and innocent, but these are modern days. How do you feel about mixed couples getting together, you know, for a little fun? Turned out he wanted four of us to play the same Kino card. <laughs> over, he escorted me to my room, and like the true romantic roué he really is, he surprised me with a burning kiss. He forgot to take the cigar out of his mouth. 